this is part 26 of Good Omens. I expect we'll get a medal or something, said Adam optimistically, rescuing a man from a blazing wreck. It wasn't blazing, said Pepper. It wasn't even very wrecked when we put it back right side up. It could have been, Adam pointed out. I don't see why we shouldn't have a medal just because some old car doesn't know when to catch fire. They stood looking down at the hole. Anathema had called the police, who had put it down to subs subsidence and put some cones around it. It was dark and went down a long way. It could have, could have been good fun going to Tibet, said Brian. We could learn martial arts and stuff. I saw this old film where there's this valley in Tibet, and everyone lives there for hundreds of years. It's called Shagriya Law. My aunt's bungalow is called Shukriya Sh Law, said Winsleydale. Adam snorted. Not very clever. Naming a valley after some old bungalow, he said. Might as well call it Dun Roman or the Laurels. It's a lot better than Shambles, anyway, said Winsleydale mildly. Shambhala, corrected Adam. I expect it's the same place. Probably got both names, said Pepper with unusual diplomacy. Like our house, we changed the name from the lodge to Norton View when we moved in, but we still get letters addressed to Theo C. Cupper, the lodge. Perhaps they've named it Shambhala now, but people still call it the Laurels. Adam flicked a pebble, a pebble into the hole. He was becoming bored with Tibetans. What shall we do now, said Pepper? They're date. They're dipping sheep over at Norton Bottom Farm. We could go and help. Adam threw a larger stone into the hole and waited for the thump. It didn't come. Dunno, he said di distantly. I reckon we should do something about whales and forests and such like. Like what? said Brian, who enjoyed the diversions available at a good sheep dipping. He began to empty his pockets up crisp packets and drop them one by one into the hole. We could go into Tadfield this afternoon and not have a hamburger, said Pepper. If all four of us don't have one, that's millions of acres of rainforest. They won't have to cut down. They'll be cutting them they'll be cutting them down anyway, said Winsleydale. It's grass materialism again, said Adam. Same with the whales. It's amazing the stuff that's going on. He stared at Dog. He was feeling very odd. The little mongrel, noticing the attention, balanced expectantly on its hind legs. "'It's people like you that's eating all the whales,' said Adam severely. "'I bet you've stood up nearly a whole whale already!' Dog, one last tiny satanic spark of his soul, hating himself for it, put his head on one side and whined. "'It's going to be a fine old world to grow up in,' said Adam. "'No whales, no air, and everyone paddling around because of the seas rising.' Then the Atlanteans be the only then the Atlanteans be the only ones well off, said Pepper cheerfully. Hmm, said Adam, not really listening. Something was happening inside his head. It was aching. Thoughts were arriving there without him having to think them. Something was saying, You can do something, Adam Young. You can make it all better. You can do anything you want. And what was and what was saying this to him was him. Part of him, deep down, part of him had been attached to him all these years and not really noticed like a shadow. It was saying, yes, it's a rotten world. It could have been great, but now it's rotten and it's time to do something about it. That's what you're here for, to make it all better. Because they'd be able to go everywhere, said Pe Pepper went on, giving him a worried look. The Atlanteans, I mean, because I'm fed up with the old Atlanteans and Tibetans, snapped Adam. They stared at him. They'd never seen him like this before. It's all very well for them, said Adam. Everything going around, juicing up all the wheels and coal and oil and ozone and forests and that. And there's, there will be none left for us. We should be going to Mars and stuff instead of sitting around in the dark and wet with the air spilling away. This wasn't the old Adam the them knew. The them avoided one another's faces. With Adam in this mood, the world seemed a chillier place. Seems to me, said Brian pragmatically, Seems to me the best thing you could do about it is stop reading about it. 
It's like you said the other day, said Adam. You grew up reading about pirates and cowboys and spacemen and stuff. And just making you think the world's all full of amazing things. I tell you, it's really all dead whales and chopped down forests and nuclear waste hanging about for millions of years. It's not worth growing up for, if you ask my opinion. The them exchanged glances. There was a shadow over the whole world. Storm clouds were building up in the north, the sunlight glowing yellow off them as though the sky had been painted by an enthusiastic amateur. Seems to me it ought to be rolled up and start all over again, said Adam. That hadn't sounded like Adam's voice. A bitter wind blew through the summer woods. Adam looked at Dog, who tried to stand on his head. There was a distant mutter of thunder. He reached down and patted the dog absentmindedly. Serve everyone right, right if all the nuclear bombs went off and it all started again. Only probably organized, said Adam. Sometimes I think that's what I'd like to happen. And then we could sort everything out. The thunder growled again. Pepper shivered. This wasn't the normal them. Mobius bickering which passed many a slow hour. There was a look in Adam's eye that his friend couldn't quite fathom. Not devilment, because that was more or less there all the time, but a sort of blank grayness that was far worse. Well, I don't know about we, Pepper tried. Don't know about the we, because if there's all these bombs going off, we could all get blown up. Speaking as a mother of unborn generations, I'm against it. They looked at her curiously. She shrugged. And then, giant ants take over the world, said Wensley Dale nervously. I saw this film where you could go around with sawn-off shotguns and everyone's got these cars with, you know, knives and guns stuck on. I wouldn't allow any giant ants or anything like that, said Adam, brightening up horribly. And you'd all be all right. I'd see to that. It'd be wicked, eh, to have the world to ourselves, wouldn't it? We could share it out. We could have amazing games. We could have war with real armies and stuff. But there wouldn't be any people, said Pepper. Oh, I could make us some people, said Adam airily. Good enough for armies at any rate. We could all have a quarter of the world each, like you. He pointed at Pepper, who reco recoiled as though Adam's finger were a white hot poker. Could have Russia, because it's red and you've got red hair, right? And Winsley can have America. And Brian can have, can have Africa and Europe and, and even in their state of mounting terror, the then gave this the consideration it deserved. Uh -huh. Peppers stuttered Pepper as the rising wind whipped at her t-shirt. I don't s see why Winsleydale's got America and I and all I've got God, is Russia. Russia's boring. You could have China and Japan and India, said Adam. That means I've just got Africa and a lot of just boring little countries, said Brian, negotiating even on the curl of the catastrophe curve. I wouldn't mind Australia, he added. Pepper nudged him and shook her head urgently. Dog's going to have Australia, said Adam, his eyes glowing with the fires of creation, on account of him needing a lot of space to run about. And there's all those rabbits and kangaroos for him to chase, and the cloud spread forwards and sideways like ink poured into a bowl of clean water moving across the sky faster than the wind. But there won't be any rub, Winsleydale shrieked. Adam wasn't listening, at least to any of the voices outside his own head. It's all too much of a mess, he said. We should start again. Just save the ones we want and start again. That's the best way. It'd be doing the earth a favor when you come to think about it. It makes me angry seeing the way those old loonies are messing it up. It's memory, you see, said Anathema. It works backwards as well as forwards. Racial memory, I mean. Newt gave her a polite but blank look. What I'm trying to say, she said patiently, is that Agnes didn't see the future. That's just a metaphor. She remembered it. Not very well, of course. And by the time it had been filtered through, her own understanding is often a bit confused. We think she's best at remembering things that were going to happen to her descendants. But if you're going to places and doing things because of what she wrote, and what she wrote is her recollection of the places you went to and the things you did, said Newt, then I know. <clears throat> but there's er, some evidence that's that that's how it works said anathema they looked at the map spread out but spread out between them beside them the radio murmured newt was very aware that a woman was sitting next to him be professional he told himself 
You're a soldier, aren't you? Well, practically. Then act like a soldier. He thought hard for a fraction of a second. Well, act like a responsible soldier on his best behavior then. He forced his attention back to the matter at hand. Why lower, Tad Field said Newt. I just got interested because of the weather. Optimal microclimate, they call it. That means it's a small place with its own personal nice weather. He glanced at our notebooks. There was definitely something odd about the place, even if you ignored Tibetans and UFOs, which seem to be infesting the whole world these days. The Tadville area didn't only have the kind of weather you could set your calendar by, it was also remarkably resistant to change. No one seemed to build new houses there. The population didn't seem to move much. There seemed to be more woods and hedges than you normally expect these days. The only battery farm to open in the area had failed after a year or two and been replaced by an old-fashioned pig farmer who let his pigs run loose in his apple orchards and sold the pork at premium prices. The two local schools seemed to soldier on in blissful immunity from the changing factions of education. A motorway, which should have turned most of Lower Tadfield into little more than the Junction 18 Happy Porker Rest Area changed course five miles away, detoured in a great semicircle, and continued on its way obliviously to the little island of rural changelessness it had avoided. No one quite seemed to know why. One of the surveyors involved had a nervous breakdown. A second had become a monk, and a third had gone off to Bali to paint nude women. It was as if this... It was as if a large part of the 20th century had marked a few square miles out of bounds. Anathema pulled another card out of her index and flicked it across the table. 2315. Some say it cometh, it cometh in London town or New York, but they be wrong, for the place is Tad's field. Strong in his power, he cometh like a knight in the field. He divideth the world into four parts. He bringeth the storm. Four years early, New Amsterdam till 1664, Tadfield Norfolk, Tadfield Devon, Tadfield Oxen, see Revelation C6 V10. I had to go and look through a lot of county records, said Anathema. Why is this one 2315? It's earlier than the others. Agnes was a bit splat slapdash about timing. I don't think she always knew what went where. I told you, we spent ages devising a sort of system for ch chaining them together. Newt took looked at a few cards. For example, 1111, and the great hand shall come, and the two powers shall watch in vain, for it goeth where it, its master, where they wot not to snarl name it, true to its nature, and hell shall flee it. Is this something to do with Bismarck? AF device, June 8th, 1888. Skelsville Holston? She's being on. Usually obtuse for Agnes, said Anathema. 3017. I see four riding, bringing the end, and the hell, the angels of hell ride with them, and three shall rise, and four and four together be four, and the dark angel shall own defeat, yet the man shall claim his own. The apocalyptic horseman, the man equals pan, the devil, the witch trials of Lancaster Brewster, 1782. Question mark, question mark. I feel good Agnes had drunk well this night. Quincy device, October 15, 1789. I concur. We, all, we are all human, alas. Miss OJ device, January 5th, 1854. Why nice and accurate prophecies, said Newt. Nice as in exact or precise, said Anathema in the weary tones of one who had explained this before. That's what it used to mean. But look, said Newt. He nearly convinced himself about the non-existence of the UFO, which was clearly a figment of his imagination. And the Tibetan could have been, uh, well, he was working on it, but it, whatever it was, it wasn't a Tibetan. But he was more and more convinced of was that he'd been in a room with a very attractive woman who appeared actually to like him, or at least not to dislike him, which was a definite first for Newt. And admittedly, there seemed to be a lot of strange stuff going on. But if he really tried pulling the boat of common sense upstream against the raging current of the evidence, he could pretend it was all, well, weather balloons or Venus or mass hallucination. In short, whatever Newt was now thinking with, it wasn't his brain. But look, he said, the world isn't really going to end now, is it? I mean, just look around. It's not like there's any intentional 
international tension, well, any more than there normally is, why don't we leave this stuff for a while and just go and, oh, I don't know, maybe you could go for a walk or something, I mean. Don't you understand? There's something here. Something that affects the area, she said. It's twisted all the ley lines. It's protecting the area against anything that might change it. It's, it's... There it was again, the thought in her mind that she could not, was not allowed to grasp, like a dream upon waking. The windows rattled. Outside a sprig of jasmine, driven by the wind, started to bang incessantly on the glass. But I can't get a fix on it, said Anathema, twisting her fingers together. I've tried everything. Fix? said Neil. I've tried the pendulum. I've tried the feet of the light. I'm psychic, you see. But it seems to move around. Newt was still in control of his own mind enough to do the proper translation. When most people say, said, I'm a psychic, you see, they meant, I have an overactive but unoriginal imagination, wear black nail varnish, talk to my budgie. When Anathema said it, it sounded as though she was admitting a hereditary disease, which, she m much, which she'd much prefer not to have. Armageddon moves around, said Newt. Various prophecies say the Antichrist has to arise first, said Anathema. Agnes says he. I can't spot him or her, said Newt. What? Could be a her, said Newt. This is the 20th century, after all. Equal opportunities. I don't think you're taking this entirely seriously, she said severely. Anyway, isn't there isn't any evil here. That's what I don't understand. There's just love. Sorry, said Newt. She gave him a helpless look. It's hard to describe it, she said. Something or someone loves this place. Loves every inch of it so powerfully that it shields and protects it. A deep down, huge, fierce love. How can anything bad start here? How can the end of the world start in a place like this? This is the kind of town you want to raise your kids in. It's a kid's paradise, she smiled weakly. You should have seen the local kids. They're unreal. Right out of the boys' town paper. All scabby knees and brilliant and bull's eyes. She nearly had it. She could feel the shape of the thought. She was gaining on it. What's this place? said Newt. What? Anathema screamed as her train of thought was derailed. Newt's finger tapped at the map. Disused Ariodome, it says. Just here, look, west of Tadfield itself. Anathema snorted. Disused? Don't you believe it? Used to be a wartime fighter base. It's been Upper Tadfield Air Base for about 10 years or so. And before you say it, the answer is no. I hate everything about the bloody place, but the Colonel Sanner that then you are by a long way. His wife does yoga for God's sake. Now, what was it she'd said before? The kids round here. She felt her mental feet slipping away from under her. She fell back into a more personal thought waiting there to catch her. Newt was okay, really, and the thing about spending the rest of your life with him was he wouldn't be around long enough to get on your nerves. The radio was talking about South American rainforests, new ones. It began to hail.